Criminologist David Wilson is here to give us a closer look at the shocking case. I think it's the first time actually on Netflix you've watched a crime documentary and then it's been resolved in the courts almost in real time. Like the payoff, I mean, part of it's been resolved actually, and we'll come to those sort of outstanding cases that are still there. First of all, just explain who this family are because this was an incredibly generational powerhouse yeah. of a family. Well, I think that's the key thing. And almost the easiest thing to explain are the four main principles, because we've got Alex Murdoch, pronounced Murdoch, uh, as opposed to how it's spelled. Yeah. Uh, Alex Murdoch, 62, a lawyer. Um, the grandson of a lawyer called Randolph Murdoch, who set up a law firm in the 1920s. Mm -hmm. Lots of power and prestige. Uh, Alex's wife, Maggie, uh, who dies um, when she's 52. There are two sons, Buster and, and Paul. Mm -hmm. Now, Paul and Maggie are going to be killed. We now know, as you were explaining, that we've had some resolution in this. So we know that, um, that Paul and Maggie were killed by Alex Murdoch, and the entire Murdoch dynasty begins to unravel. What's been intriguing, of course, Holly, is that it's never really been a whodunit it's always been a how have they got away with it mm. for so long. Well, they seemed untouchable. Absolutely. So this is about a network in the South Carolina low country where power, prestige, you do me a favour, scratch my back, I'll scratch your back, bribing, fraud, corruption has become embedded within the relationships that, that uh, exist within those particular five counties of South Carolina's low, uh, low country. And so this has been about how the Murdochs have been above the law mm. and actually... The, th the theme that I found when watching the series was very much, it's very much like Ghislaine Max Maxwell, it's very much like Jeffrey Epstein, it's very like Harvey Weinstein. It's about people who believe that they're above the law are eventually mm -hmm. going to be caught and prosecuted. But as you were also saying, this is by no means over. No. Well, let's talk first of all about the son, Paul, who we know, as we just said, that goes on to be murdered. So he was responsible for the death of a 19-year-old girl, Mallory. Um, she was on this boat. He was driving the boat. They'd had way too much to drink. They crash into a bridge and, sadly, she gets lost under the water and she goes on to die. Um, he He's never been charged for the death of Mallory and obviously isn't going to now. Um, there was a lot of arguments about him receiving special treatment because of who his family were. Oh, and he absolutely did. I mean, he was never, for example, on the night when Mallory Beach uh, drowns, mm -hmm. um, he was never breathalyzed. he was never arrested, he was never charged. Uh, people, the police officers at the time were incredibly... Um, careful about how they handled him. Yeah. Even when they uh, went to the hospital, because some of the people also on the boat, interestingly as well, Paul, when he was drunk, had an alter ego called Timmy. That's Timmy right, came yeah. out mm -hmm. and became this real devilish mm -hmm. character because he was so drunk. You know, and there's a history of addiction that seems to be part of the family story as well. Well, the, the, this wasn't his first drunken crash. No, and indeed, again, though, this was, his this was not his first drunken crash, but the crash that's going to unravel everything. And previously there had been a case where he was drink driving with his then-girlfriend, Morgan Doughty, and again, what does he do? He doesn't phone the police. He phones for his family yeah. so that his family can stage the crime scene so as to avoid any kinds of conviction. But they cleaned everything up, didn't they? they yeah, they, they removed all the beer bottles, the beer cans, they removed guns, they towed the truck so that the truck wasn't in the position where it had crashed. We classically call that criminologically staging the crime scene so that it deflects the police's attention away from what might have happened. They saw themselves as above the law. So another mysterious death that's gone unsolved is in 2015, and this is this family again connected with this guy called Stephen Smith, only 19, found dead on the side of the road, a hit and run. Um, there's been huge publicity around this because this is unsolved. Yep. And I wonder whether the, the popularity of this documentary will sort of reignite this case. Well, we've got to hope so, haven't yeah. we? Because what clearly is going on with Stephen Smith's death, death, which was very suspicious, is some homophobia. There was an indication which has been talked about in the press, talked about in the podcast, talked about in the documentary, that Stephen was in a relationship with Buster Murdoch, who's Sorry. the older and surviving of the Murdoch family 
uh, members. Uh, there was some indication that they were in a relationship, that Buster may have been responsible for his death. So one We hopes... approached them, by the way, for comment, and they, they haven't come back to us. So we hope that because of the publicity, that that will make the police again want to, it's called SLED, the South Carolina Law Enforcement Division, to take seriously what happens to Stephen Smith and also what happened to Gloria yeah. Satterfield, the housekeeper, who again ends up dead in suspicious circumstances with falling down the stairs, mm -hmm. seemingly tripping over the dog. No coroner notified, no autopsy performed, a death certificate stated it was by natural causes. And obviously all completely manipulated, very much the crime scene manipulated in the way that we saw the crime scene being manipulated with uh, Paul Murdoch when he was driving with Morgan Doherty. And her death was also used for financial fraud because he, um, Alec Murdoch, went to the family and said, oh, you need to sue me uh, for, for the fact that she's had this death on my property, which he did. Then he proceeded to keep all the money for himself. Three million dollars. You know, you can't make this up. It's American Gothic. It is one of those classic can this be true kinds of true crime dramas. So then we get on to the death of wife and son. So this is the, this is the Big one, he denied being at the crime scene, which was by the kennels, uh, but actually there was a Snapchat video that, uh, that placed him there. And the Snapchat video wasn't initially um, record, uh, recovered. And so it took some time before the police were able to actually download the Snapchat video from Paul's uh, phone. And when they did so, what do we discover? We discover that Alex Murdoch's voice is in the Snapchat video at the kennels, whereas previously he had denied ever being wow. at the kennels and had been back in their home uh, taking a nap. And so when you, when you take all of this away, what we're left with is a kind of family <laughs> annihilation. Um, um, a powerful man who no longer thinks that his wife, Maggie, his son, <coughs> Paul, because, of course, Paul is going to be uh, prosecuted for what happens in mm. the Mallory Beach boat incident, they're no longer useful to him, and so he wants to take their lives and, and get, get rid of them. God, it's so horrible and sinister, isn't it? It's a, it's a brilliant documentary, and it was a real... I mean, there is so much in it. We've sort of scratched the surface. Interestingly, here. You've, both, you've watched the, watched the yeah. documentary. I watched the trial, yeah. but hadn't seen the documentary. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, and that was massive on the TV. Well, the and again, <clears throat> you know, one of the things you and I have discussed lots on this so far is the importance of the media bringing these kinds of cases to attention. Mm. It was actually a podcast way, way back in 2015 that started looking at the Murdoch uh, family and trying to bring some of the It'll things be that they've been doing to justice. Now that it's had such a massive high profile, if there is, a, in, in fact, any other information to come forward and if there are any other um, prosecutions. Yeah. Uh, Murdoch murders uh, a southern scandal is streaming on Netflix now. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Right, still